Welcome back, folks and friends. Connecting Dots here. Today's date is Thursday, October 23rd, 2014. Continuing on here with the busting of the New World Order agent. So, you know, it's one of the things I've realized here as I continue making these videos. It's upsetting to some people because they, they've gained trust. They've been following these, these, same, uh, the, these same YouTubers for a long time. And then all of a sudden, you know, I step up to the plate and uh, smack a home run and uh, show you all how they're actually two-faced. And they promote each other. And, yeah, disinformation gang. That's basically it here. That's what I'm finding out on YouTube. You know, right down to uh, Marcia. I am from Canada One. She's lived right here on Vancouver Island, to 10 minutes away from where I am. You don't think she could make a video on, on showing that the Fukushima um, death of the Pacific Ocean is a lie? She's not going to say a damn word. She's part of the region, so she's talking about everything else but Fukushima. And in this latest one, she's talking about the legislative assistant here that took this picture here outside his window 15 minutes before the shooting took place in Ottawa on the Capitol Hill here, where this guy was apparently shot, a soldier, which is another f funny thing. As I've mentioned in the past here, I've spent almost 20 years in Ottawa. In fact, I have friends in many places in the government in Ottawa, and I have a friend that actually worked as a security guard on the parliament and... The information that I was told was basically, you know what, forget this security bullshit that you're sold on TV, uh, I was told, was that they have homosexual parties in the parliament, in the MPs' chambers, almost every freaking night. Okay, this is... This is not gossip. This is someone that actually worked there that got to see the, the homosexuals, the transvestites coming in and back and forth in their vehicles, going up to the parliament, and then they, like I said, the person worked for the company. They actually walked the halls of the parliament. Yes, it's true they don't carry any guns. That's one of the rules here. No, no one's allowed on the parliament with any guns, including the RCMP. So, um, yeah, they went on to tell me how there's, there's gay parties almost every single night on the parliament. And so for the RCMP to try and pull some big bullshit that they're, oh, we got to worry about blah, 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 blah. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. For one thing, there's a lot of holes in that story. Not only are we finding out now that the police were all on guard before it even went down, but here's the other thing. I spent, like I said, almost 20 years in Ottawa. I've never seen a soldier standing by this war memorial not once i'm telling you and here's the other thing if he shot if he shot that soldier right well it only goes two ways here if he had a fire a, a long range gun like a, a rifle he would be able to stand far away and shoot him which could be his excuse why he was able to get inside the parliament but here's the other thing you can't even get in the parliament then parliament is a totally locked down 24 7 two doors to get in there that's it that's all the front door where the guards are standing, so if the guy came in with a rifle, no chance he made it by the front door, which is the other thing. If he shot down at the legislation building or somewhere around there, he had, his, had to make his way inside the parliament. So he had to go in, inside the front door. They would have seen him, even if he was ca carrying a, a small gun, w at which point he would have to be closer to the soldier that he shot at the monument building. Therefore, he would have a further distance to get to the parliament. They're, they're beside each other, but trust me, to get to walk to the parliament where the soldier was shot to the front door of the parliament building, at normal walking speed, it's going to take you five minutes. The, 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 the front lawn alone is a good little walk. You've got to cross the street there, uh, Rideau Street. There's a lot of traffic, a lot of people. This is the other thing. We have no eyewitnesses of anything. Anyways, long story short, apparently he made his way into the parliament. Like I said, there's only two doors in the parliament, the front door and the side door. The, uh, on the west side of the parliament building where the MPs get dropped off with their, um, by their chauffeurs, whatnot, they come in the door. And there's RCMPs often parked up there not where these guys are okay so it's very obvious there's a lot of funny stuff here and uh, I, i'm going to tackle that another time possibly but right now i'm going to stick with the agents because uh, you know she won't talk about fukushima and one of the things someone said here is like yeah it's good to unsubscribe from these people because what ends up happening is your subscription box gets overloaded with the new world youtube agents videos that's just the way and these people pump video after video after video non day long um the regular truthers you know, we don't get paid for this. So, you know, I, I try to make a video per day, but honestly, it takes a lot of effort on our part. And as you know, I, I'm not into showing my face. It's about the documents and the proof to back up everything that I say. So in this latest round of assault here, we have the James James Corbett from the Corbett Report here. He's uploaded this video an hour ago and he uh, the set on the, yeah, breaks the set. <sighs> 
So it's becoming more and more obvious here how they, uh, the New World Order agents are all on RT News. We, we've had what? Don Harold, um, Alex Jones, um, Corbett Report here all show again is a disinfo agent. Um, Radchick. I mean, the girl who lied about the radiation falling on her daughter's arm in 2011, somewhere in the middle of the United States, and then just became viral. Then we have her on RT News. It's becoming more and more obvious that uh, New World Order is in here, and RT News is part of this calamity of corruption here. So in this latest one here, yeah, he breaks the set on the Federal Reserve. But what's important, I'm not going to play that video. What I want to get into is... Many of you may recall back when Liz Wall quit RT News live, right on there. It was all over this whole Putin ordeal, right? And then all the regular news stories, they start pumping it out, blah, 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 blah. And that's one of the big things you may have noticed here, that RT News is not the only one that put out the story. The New World Order has all these other little agents here that are out spreading the bullshit. That's very important here, folks. I see it in the nuclear industry. You know, Nibiru Magic's been gone for a long time, but guess what? He's back. But guess what? His videos have been uploaded all along, even when he was gone. They have their shills out there promoting the bullshit nonstop. So in this video I made a little while back, I'm not sure if you saw it. I'll leave a link down below. But basically, I talked about RT News, how uh, the anchor quitting was absolutely fake. Abby uh, Martin is nothing but a shill, and it's connected with Max Kaiser and Alex Jones. I'm not going to go over that whole video. I'll leave it down below. Go check it out, March 8, 2014. It's very obvious that uh, we're in a control system here, folks. So, um, one of the things she'd said here is about the chemtrails. Listen to this. Chemtrails. Chemtrail believers. I love you. I feel you. I, used to, I probably could have been one of you. Right. Okay, but I read a couple of articles right. along the way. Just don't, I'm not a fucking geoengineer, and I'm, I'm not a New World Order person either. All right? I'm not the Illuminati. Stop. Well, I just haven't met one... I haven't seen one pilot who's, I mean, if, the, if they were spraying chemicals on us and the government was doing this around the world every day, don't you think that some pilot would have come out and said, like, I don't know. Yo. You know, who knows? Why would he spray it's, his own family? You know, and like, it's, yeah, it's a very non-specific way to poison the world. <laughs> we're already getting enough poison. I, I don't. Um, but it has been done. The, the, the thing about, right. uh, yeah, dropping stuff from planes has been mm -hmm. done. And, and Okay, so they'll tell you it's been done, but now we're absolutely nuts now because we see all these lines in the skies, honestly. So you folks can uh, look it up if you want, but she's been very out front about her feelings towards chemtrails. And as you've heard here, Joe Rogan, you know, um, he didn't call us a name this time, but uh, Abby Martin has called us conspiracy retards. I've heard various names coming to anyone that believes in chemtrail. Even Max Kaiser, who's on MT, uh, RT News. Again, anything that has to do with chemtrails, we're conspiracy retards. Yet, Max Kaiser will talk with Alex Jones. Alex Jones will be on RT News. What's going on here? And even Corbett. Like I said, he's part of the propaganda bullshit machine, folks. So, so this person here made a video a little while back, and they talk about the disinformation. And listen to this. Listen to this. This is uh, James Corbett's own voice here in the background while this person put the writing on the screen. When confronted by something that they don't want you to know, they will first, of course, deny its existence and ridicule anyone who claims that it exists, even if you can see the evidence of that thing's existence with your own eyes. After denying the existence and ridiculing anyone who sees its existence, they will then, and only then, implant the idea that, well, wouldn't it be a good thing after all if it was true? You can see this in the creation of the story about chemtrails. They're not true, you're crazy if you see them, it's just condensation trails. But, well, you know, I mean, we do have this global warming that is of course caused by that vile life-giving gas CO2, so, wouldn't it be a great thing if we could put up a sunscreen to shield us from the rays of the sun? Which, of course, is what actually drives climate. You'll see this, as I say, again and again and again with so many misinformation operations that it's part of their psychological playbook, guaranteed. You'll see this. Guaranteed you will see this. So he's not going to talk about it with uh, um, RT News. Uh, Abby, absolutely not. She can call us all kinds of names. But he can make videos, Mr. Corbett report, and Abby won't touch him. No, she won't say nothing about him. Hey, Abby? No, we're, we're all nuts. Hey, Abby? And so where's that little piece of crap, Joe Rogan? 
Hey, Joe, we're all nuts. Hey, Joe, how come you don't talk about James Corbett? Because you're a shill, New World Order agent. Folks, I want you to remember who these people are because when we gain control of our system, these are the people that we have to hunt down and bring to court. They have to be prosecuted. Every single one of them that are part of this bullshit. And I'll tell you a little story here. I've been trying to end homelessness here on Vancouver Island. So last winter, I spent roughly about four hours per week going to different meetings to try and end this, only to find out that they're all psy-opted, and only to find out that the Center for Research on Globalization had one of their agents in there, and she approached me, asked me to work for them. I went, I'm like, who, who are you guys? And she told me the name. I'm like, ah, that's connected to Alex Jones. I don't think so. And I said, well, what kind of work you guys want me to do? She says, well, we'd like you to put up posters. <laughs> I said, no, I'd rather make videos pointing out how you're all corrupt. So here we go here, folks. Uh, if you don't know this, people, I'll, I'll leave the link there. You can follow them up. They're all part of Alex Jones' misinformation gang. They've been, um, I don't know what to say. It's getting more and more obvious, and more of us are waking up to the corruption here. So, and more recently, I've talked about how Mr. James Corbett here, uh, yeah, telling people that they should invest, not invest, store their wealth in bitcoins. Honestly, he was saying this at six hundred and eighty-five dollars or six hundred and sixty-five dollars back when I was. I actually made a video back then telling folks, "Okay, get out of bitcoins. If you haven't jumped out yet, now's your opportunity." She bounced back up here at six eighty-five or six sixty-five. You'll have to go look. I can't remember what the exact price was when I made that video, but I was telling you, folks, get out. This baby's going down. The people that were pumping it, they're no longer pumping it. And sure enough, the last go we had was James Corbett here making a last go telling folks get in there buy your bitcoins yes even mike maloney same thing so you stay away from these people that have no track record that are all going to promote their bullshit back and forth i even caught dan don harrell you know um, the day trader show promoted by this guy so elijah johnson is part of this thing you remember these people because when we gain control of our system these are the people that we have to prosecute these are your unpatriotic sellouts no doubt about it so is this guy here. So as you can see here, now they're starting to talk about, yeah, Fukushima. Honestly, I couldn't believe it. So now he's jumped into Fukushima. And as you can see here, August 26, 2014, they had to come out. You know why? Because I'm busting a hole in all the shills here, the scam of the Fukushima scam. So you're not going to hear Corbett report, guaranteed. Guaranteed, you will not hear Corbett report talking about the fraud of the Fukushima that's taking place right now, how uh, thousands of people are being ripped off. He will not say that. He will shut his mouth. So remember these people, when we get control of our system, these are the people that we have to prosecute. Okay? Remember that. Same with him. Paul Begley, same with them. And I want to point out this. Mr. Nibiru Magic, who's been gone away for over a month, the video is only 23 hours old, just uploaded 1,250 views. Honestly, listen to this garbage here. So he's been away for a while. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. So in this latest video here, he just uploaded this, like I said, uh, 23 hours ago, October 22nd, 2014, 208 thumbs up. Seriously? With 1,700 views? Can you say bullshit? I hope so, because the guy's been out for over a month. He comes out and makes one video, again here, showing his face, no information. And what's really funny about this, he talks in the beginning how he's gone through a depression here, and uh, well, his, none of his family members believe in the stuff that he has, and he feels all alone, and he's being depressed. I wonder why. Because he's selling them bullshit, and uh, listen to this, honestly, he, he, he still believes the bullshit. So here we go, Ian. Oh, that's another good thing. Again, energy news. Okay, that's I, I feel that's the reason why he's been brought out here because we busted the hole in energy news so bad. Have you seen how no one's looking at that website anymore? It's almost gone to nothing. Honestly, uh, uh, people are figuring out here. Energy news, fear-mongering bullshit, and this guy is nothing more than another New World Order agent promoting the bullshit. Let's listen up here. Unprecedented catastrophe underway at Fukushima. Radioactive material will keep coming across to North America for centuries. And we've been going on and on about this. Dana's out there right now trying to prove it so. <laughs> With the camera. Oh, my God. What a ditzy guy. I can't believe it. So many of you figured out that you can't prove the Pacific Ocean is dead from Fukushima with a camera. In fact, if you've been watching my videos, I've showed how 
marine biologists and whatnot along the west coast have been talking about how there's more sea life than ever before. Fishermen have never seen so many fish. Powell River hadn't seen so many fish in 17 years. Unbelievable. They want to promote the bullshit. So if you guys want to watch the Bitcoin, I called it, it's the end of it. And I uploaded this video here at Silver Gold Man, the Rothschild Federal Reserve. I'll leave a link down below if you want to get educated on your Federal Reserve. That's what it's called, the U.S. Founding Fathers Banking History. Enough with the bullshit. Also, is anyone going to talk about these 43 missing students? That's for another video, but yeah, something very sad. I'll leave a link for Connecting Dots 1. Stay tuned, folks. I'm not done busting the shills one at a time.